Good morning, sleepyhead. What's wrong? I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. And I'm nervous. Why? I'm gonna get cut open. Okay, <laughs> that's a, you're exaggerating a little. I don't think so. <laughs> I think they're literally cutting me open. <laughs> so we're on the way to the hospital. It is, what time is it? 9.30 in the morning. Sophie girl's eating her breakfast before we leave. Yeah, lucky her gets to eat. I don't. It's okay, it'll be fine. It'll be quick and easy and over before you know it. You won't know it because you will be asleep. <laughs> you ready to get going? Well, once yeah. she's done. Yeah, let's go get ripped open. Oh my gosh. Mate. I missed. <laughs> You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. I don't think I got it, babe. Okay, okay. Is it maybe it's a too steep here for you? Yeah. Okay, good job. Oh. You were close. <laughs> we're here, time to roll on in. Can you at least tell them the name of what's happening? Yeah, so today I'm going to be getting a bilateral hydrocelectomy. If you want to know what that means, feel free to look it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And Botox. And Botox, yes. Yeah. Um, so it's a dual surgery. Usually I just get the Botox, but I'm having something extra done today. It is much more involved, so I'll be under longer. Charisma will have to wait longer. She's gonna go somewhere and do something. Um, but it's about time for us to roll on in, so right. here we go. Here we go. Is finally back getting his procedure done it took a while because we went back and um, got set up and he had you know an hour and a half before his surgery even started so we were just back there chilling but yeah we'll talk more about the surgery later I want him to explain it because you know it's his body and I want him to share whatever he feels comfortable sharing um, but right now I'm just waiting for him to be done I think it's gonna take like an hour, so I came to the car to get some work done. And I came to take my vitamins. I actually forgot to take them this morning. So Cole and I started taking multivitamins. Uh, they are Ritual brand. So thank you Ritual for sponsoring this video. Cole was actually unable to take it this morning because of his surgery, but he'll take it after. Um, but we've really been enjoying taking Ritual. It's nice knowing what is in our vitamins so often you get vitamins and you're not sure exactly what is in the vitamins. And it's really hard to actually get all of your supplements in your meals. I know I struggle with it when I'm eating every day. I don't get everything that I need. So it's nice to have a vitamin that'll help supplement what I'm not getting with my food. So these vitamins are for those 18 and older and mine are specific to women and what our bodies need like iron. And it's nice because it's USP approved, meaning that what it says is in the vitamins is actually in the vitamins. Believe it or not, some multivitamin companies say something's in there or not and it's just not always accurate. So these vitamins are vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, and then formulated without major allergens, which I think is very important. You can even take these vitamins without food. So like me, who has forgotten to eat today and take my vitamins, I can take them right now without food and they're gentle on my stomach. And it even has a fresh minty taste and smell. When I opened it for the first time, I was like, oh my goodness, this smells really good. It's also a subscription-based service, which you can stop and start whenever you want, and it's about a dollar a day per month. So these multivitamins help with heart health, brain health, normal muscle function, normal immune system function, which is so important. So like I said, Cole takes them as well as me. Our multivitamins are different because I need iron more than he does and he needs like zinc and magnesium. So some things are different and that's why they're formulated for men and women specifically. So you all can get 10% off your first three months if you use our code, capital C, capital C, 10. Again, that's capital C, capital C, 10. 
and log on to the website www.ritual.com backslash capital C capital C 10. Again, www.ritual.com backslash capital C capital C 10. Once again, you can get 10% off your first three months and start taking your multivitamins and get everything that your body needs. I'm gonna do some work and be bored for the next hour waiting on Cole. Um, <laughs> I'm sure y'all can hear that, but this guy's car just went off. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna sit in the parking lot listening to um, honking cars get some work done and wait for Cole. Um, he has more intense anesthesia with this procedure, so I think he's gonna be in recovery a little bit longer, and he's probably gonna be really loopy and tired. But we'll get him home, and he's gotta be in the bed for the rest of the day with very little activity. And you know, transferring is a lot of movement, so we wanna be as cautious as possible. So let me get, go get some work done, and we will see you soon. Say something. Hey everyone. How are you? How do you feel? Tired. Very tired. And how's your throat? My throat is very dry. I feel like I've been a cigarette smoker for 80 years right now. I know. They stuck the tube down his throat during the surgery. Usually they don't do that, but because we had the extra procedure with the Botox, they had to put me down for longer, which means they had, which means they had to put the thing down my throat. Mm. I'm still waking up. I thought I was more awake in the bed, and then we transferred into my chair, and I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> whoa!" You want to get food on the way home? Yeah. Okay. What are you know. thinking? I don't know. Okay, we'll think about it. All right. Oh, look at those donuts. You want a donut? <laughs> Which one do you want? Probably my raspberry. Raspberry, wow. They weighed me in the uh, in the hospital bed and I'm actually much lighter than I thought I was. Yeah. So let's change that. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. Mm. I'm just gonna get my original glaze because I just love it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Home. Yeah, we're home. Drinking some water. Make my throat feel better. Mm, Sophie's trying to make you feel better too. Poor Sophie tried to jump up on my lap and I had to give her the elbow. Yeah. Can't jump on my lap. We have a sensitive area. We must protect. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. Well, you want to get in bed? So you said you're going to be in bed for a few, for the rest of the day and tomorrow? I'm so nervous, like sitting up. Okay, yeah, I know. I know. Oh, we can get in bed now. Alright. Mm, get in bed with Dada. You gonna get in bed with Dada? Yeah. Hooray! Oh, hi. You look comfortable. I am pretty comfortable. Yeah? If I hadn't just slept for like three hours, I'd probably fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird though, because when I take anesthesia, they usually give it to me when I'm in the operating room and it hits me immediately and I'm just out. But a fun story about last time I got Botox, apparently, once I started waking up after surgery, the first thing I said was, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. I think I'm gonna be here for a while, babe. You're gonna be here for a while? So I'm glad I'm comfortable. Yeah, you look comfortable. What are you watching? YouTube. Rocket League? Of course. Of course. You wanna talk a little bit about your surgery? I was starting to have a hard time like with ICs and then also like clothes not fitting me well because I had essentially a water balloon growing inside of me in my downstairs area. That was making life very difficult. So we went and got it removed by our fertility specialist actually. It's going to be a long time though before we see that because it's like three months of swelling before it'll start actually decreasing in size. I'm very much looking forward to it because it was becoming an issue. So I'm glad it's gonna be better. Yeah, me too. Well, we need to ice it now. Yeah, I now? Like right now? Well, we can wait a little bit, but I have to ice soon. Okay. Do you well, want food? I can't even feel it, but like, just imagining ice down there. <laughs> I'm gonna be shriveling. Um, shriveling? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, the food would be great. What do you want? Mac and cheese. Of course, of course. All right. Mac and cheese. I'll make you some mac and cheese. You're the best. Can you give me, come, come give me a kissy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Mm -hmm. I'm so lucky, y'all. I got the bestest woman in the world. All right, I'm making mac and cheese. Thank you. Mac and cheese done. Kraft mac and cheese is literally Cole's favorite. Oop. Oopsie daisies, almost broke that. I got some grace because he needs something healthy, right? The struggle. All right, dog dad, let's give you your uh, very childlike meal, but whatever makes you happy. This nice is delicious, thank you. Kraft mac and cheese specifically, it always made me feel better when I was younger, so. Nostalgia. I'm about to dig in. <laughs> so hungry. Go ahead and eat. But first, before you take a bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Can you talk about the blad um, the Botox? I feel like a lot of new people may not know what Botox is. With my bladder, I have a neurogenic bladder and it can only hold so much before it starts kicking off or like reflexively just letting some out because the pressure is too much. For some reason, my bladder can't handle much pressure at all. So I will start reflexing or kicking off urine at, with like a very little amount. So what the Botox does is you put the Botox in the walls of the bladder and it kind of paralyzes those muscles so that they can expand more before they start reflexing and I can hold a lot more urine and it allows me to do far less ICs throughout the day and I get um, less autonomic dysreflexia uh, throughout the day as well, which is when my body's in discomfort and it's trying to tell me something needs to change because something's wrong. So that's why I get Botox as well. And the Botox has been a game changer for me. I love it. Well, you enjoy your TV and food. I'm going to do something else. Sounds good. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Okay. I'm going to buy a movie. You're going to buy a movie? Yes, okay. What movie? Free Guy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> Everything went well, which makes me feel good uh, about the, today. So now it's just a waiting game. Uh, I'm gonna be in the bed most of the day tomorrow. Um, and then after that, I think I can get up and I just won't be very active for a while while it heals. Yeah. No, yeah. I have no AD issues, so that's that's been nice. That's good. Hopefully that holds up tomorrow. Yeah, no, hopefully. We should get a phone call about uh, a checkup for the next two days, and then okay. in two weeks you have your follow-up, and then you should be good to go. That's right. And then off to Cali. Off to Cali, just in time. So no pain, nothing? No, no, I've been fine. I'm a little worried about tonight, because I'm so used to sleeping on my side, and I'm sleeping on my back tonight, so the only options I really have to get comfortable are like side to side, but I don't know. I'm fortunate to be able to shift in the first place, so we'll see. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming with me to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay positive. Woo! Bye. Uh, uh. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> nice.